evening. You're watching Northern Student TV. I'm Josie Terry. Joining me tonight is Alyssa Mess. Hi Josie. It's finally good to have both of us in the studio today. Now isn't today a special NSTV? It is. It's our Christmas special. But before we get to that special treat for the evening, let's check in with Sports with CJ as he interviews men's hockey forward Adam Brady. Hello and welcome to another edition of NSTV Sports. I'm CJ Baumgartner and we're here joined by Beaver forward Adam Brady. How's it going today? Good, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to have you. Um, you know, so a few years ago, we'll kind of start with this. Uh, you were involved in kind of a serious car accident. You kind of want to tell us a bit about that and what your recovery was? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a long recovery for sure. It took me about uh, a year to get back playing hockey and then, uh, um, you know, just a lot of uh, rehab and uh, physical therapy and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it took a while, but um, obviously I'm happy to be here and, and playing, uh, playing hockey again. Yeah, you talk about playing hockey again. Uh, when you kind of were going through that rehab and all that, did you see yourself coming back and being kind of the player you are right now? Yeah, I think that's... Uh, that was a that was a tough part of it. Obviously, you want to you want to come back and have uh, the confidence and the skills that you had prior to to, to the accident. But uh, you know, I just I just said that I would work my hardest and uh, see what, see what happened, where it would take me, and uh, it took me here ultimately. So I've been pretty uh, pretty lucky with that, and uh, it's been fun. Yeah, it's good to hear. You guys are sitting six six and two on the season. You've lost some key players from last year: Bitzer, White Cloud, and so much more. How is this team? different from last year's and what about this team excites you um well yeah i mean we lost uh we obviously lost a, a really good goal scorer and jerry fitzgerald and uh kyle bauman was a guy that you know put pucks in the net he did everything a uh, really good leader and then you know jordan heller zach white cloud you know those are those are guys that played a lot of minutes and uh i think this year is different with uh with our forwards we're a lot younger up front but having said that i think we have a lot of team speed i think the Especially our freshmen, uh, they've really impressed me this year with their with their speed and their pace and uh, and their skills that, that they possess. Um, so I think moving forward, it's uh, it's really exciting, and uh, I think we're I think we're taking the right steps here, and um, you know we're going to win some games. Hockey Day Minnesota, that's coming up in the near future. Do you have that day circled on your calendar, or is that just another game for you? Yeah, I think we do have that uh, circled on our calendar for sure. It's something we've all. Um, really look forward to ever since it was announced and I've never played a, an outdoor game before I know some of the Minnesota guys have but you know it's something that they've uh, they've had a lot of memories and and it was obviously special for them and you know obviously to do it here in Bemidji it's gonna be amazing and uh, I think we're gonna um, give the fans something pretty cool to look forward to and then as a player too it's obviously pretty special as well so I think all in all, the whole event is going to be amazing. Great, and we wish you best of luck in that game. We wish you best of luck the rest of the season and moving forward. We'd like to thank you for coming in today and uh, giving us some words. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, welcome back anytime. That'll uh, do it for us right here on NSTV Sports. I'm CJ Baumgartner, and we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, CJ. So, Josie, since this is our Christmas show, do you want to hear a joke? Go for it. Where does the snowman keep his money? Uh, I don't know. A snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. Well, let's move on to fishing with Eric and see what he has for fishing tips over winter break. Back when I was younger, my dad and I used to fish back with bluegill lakes as soon as it was safe enough to walk on. Usually we had about three to four inches when we walked out there, but these bluegills, they didn't really see a lot of fishing pressure since they were kind of off the beaten path and we use that time to bond together and just just being outdoors I mean you can't really beat that the key to these backwoods bluegill lakes is that especially early ice you have to pack light you're gonna be walking there is no driving a four-wheeler, snowmobile, truck, you're gonna be walking and these lakes are, since they're off the beaten path, you gotta walk down some of these pretty long trails and then you have to walk a little bit on the lakes. So keeping light is key. And then once you're out there, these big bluegills swim in schools and they're, they're just constantly on the move. Um, so the key is to drill a lot of holes and 
just to stay on top of them, or at least try. But once you find them, you can really uh, have a good time and have some trophy bluegills. Oh, pumpkin seed. Look at that though. Nice one. There's nothing really better than spending a day in the outdoors and on the water with friends and family. And it just reminds me of the times I spent fishing these bluegills with my dad. Yeah, I really need to learn how to ice fish. <laughs> Wait, you've never been ice fishing before? Nope, not once. <laughs> Only ever have I. Um, what do you like to do in the winter? Uh, I like to ski and ice skate and then, oh, you can't go wrong with a movie and a cozy blanket. Oh my gosh, I've been watching so many Christmas movies lately. Well, you know, Josie, moving into our final segment of today, it is covering movies. Let's take a look. Hey, how you doing, y'all? My name is Dakota, and today we're going to look at the pretty overstuffed Christmas 2018 movie season, as far as at least what's gonna probably come here. It's gonna start the 14th, there's gonna be a, couple, a few on the 21st, and then there's gonna be a couple on Christmas Day. And that's usually how this kind of stuff goes. First up, we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Do animals talk in this dimension? Cause I don't wanna freak them out. It looks good, the animation looks nice. Next up is, uh, on the same day is Mortal Engines, which is executive produced by Peter Jackson. This doesn't look very good. You look at her and all you see are the jagged edges. It'd be more interesting if like Peter Jackson was actually directing it, but he's not. Next up is Once Upon a Deadpool, the PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 that they're shooting new scenes for. You're in a PG-13 version of Deadpool. Filtered through the prism of childlike innocence. That's a money train right there. We have Mary Poppins Returns. Live action Disney movies only do well if they're based on an old Disney property, so this should do okay. That honestly looks really good. Uh, next up, we have Aquaman. They've already lost their Batman. They've already lost their Superman. By retrieving this. I already got one of those. Not like this one you don't. I, I don't, I, maybe it'll do respectively. I don't see it being a huge hit. Bumblebee, which is next up, Bumblebee, maybe? I, th I thought the earlier trailers were a little stronger in showing that this movie won't be quite as much of a giant headache as the rest of the Transformers movies are, but... Help! Fire! Call the Fire! Holmes and Watson, starring your boys from Step Brothers. It's sort of a self-photograph. He's a real fan. I swear, I never do this. Hey, girl! Hey, girl! <sighs> Yeah, you'd think that pairing would be like instant magic, but nah. But next up we got Vice. That does look good. So we gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, that looks good. I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, it's overstuffed that's like, 11 titles that are likely going to hit wide release over uh, like a two week period. So, I mean, we might not, not even get all these. So, I mean, uh, that's pretty much all I got. 
Well, now I know at least what to watch over Christmas break. True. So, Alyssa, we still have a few more minutes left of our Christmas show. What should we do? A quiz. Really? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, so there's this one I've been dying to try, right? Okay. Which classic Christmas cookie would you be? Ooh, yeah. intriguing. Okay. okay, first question. Peanut butter, this is a true or false, peanut butter and jelly is the best lunchbox sandwich ever. False, it has to have meat. Okay, do you enjoy the snow? No. Okay. <laughs> do you like peanut butter or peanuts? No. No, okay, got it. Not at all? Not really. Got no. it. Okay, this one here, it's like you have to see it. It's a variety of Christmas cutters. You got a Santa, a gingerbread man, a snowflake, a flower, and a holly and berries. Oh, I like the snowflake. Snowflake, okay, yeah, cool. Kind of like a shirt. Yes. Very cool. Got to right. represent. Okay, when did you stop believing in Santa? Do you still believe in I Santa? I still believe. You still believe? He exists. Okay. And everyone who says not is lying to All themselves. Right. Do you eat fruit? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, let's see, and then the next question. What are your overall thoughts on Martha Stewart? Do you love her? Uh, she's, does she bother you or you're not a huge fan? You know, I don't really have an opinion, so I'm saying I'm not oh, really a fan. Okay, I don't I'll know. see. Is that just... a question? Okay, so I'm just, oh, oh, there's one more. Okay, I'm just going to say not a huge fan. Okay, cool. Okay. Icing, yay or nay? Yay! Yay! I love frosting. Okay. <laughs> is your personality more sweet or spicy? Or is it both? Mmm, it's both. Both, okay. All right. And then who is your favorite Shrek character? The Gingerbread Man, Shrek, Donkey, Fiona, or Puss in Boots? Donkey. Okay. Donkey, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Okay, holiday beverage. You got eggnog, mulled Good. wine, hot chocolate, Starbucks chestnut proline latte, or a uh, cranberry mocktail. Let's do eggnog, you know? Eggnog. We yeah. were just talking about that earlier, weren't yeah, we? Yeah. I, First time this year I tried it. That, that's crazy. I loved crazy. it. It was pretty good. Okay, so on a scale of one to three, how important is chocolate in your life? A lot, so like three. Three. Sounds good. Okay, and then when you, final question here. When you bake cookies, how many do you usually make? A dozen? About two dozen or way more than you should? Way more than I should. Probably like five dozen. Okay, drum roll please. Your cookie is the sugar cookie. Yay! Because if there's one word to describe you, it's sweet. Aww. You love the holidays and your joy is utterly contagious. Sparkle on. Aww, Aww. that is seriously so suiting. I'm so sweet. Yeah. Yes, you are. That's awesome. That was a fun quiz. Right? I know. Yes. Okay, so all right, everyone. That's all there is for this show. Good luck to you on your finals of the last two weeks. And then for those traveling for winter break, please be safe. We will pick back up with Northern Student TV at the start of next semester. From all of us here at the studio, have a great winter break. I'm Josie Terry. And I'm Alyssa Mess. And, and you've, you've been, been watching, watching Northern, Northern Student, Student TV. TV.